Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me live. I'm Jules. This is Yoga Inspired Living and today I'm going to be taking you through a nice easy flow just to move the body a little bit, to open up the heart, to um, lengthen the hamstrings, especially if you've been spending a lot of time sitting at a desk or just be uh, in front of a computer or texting and just not being able to get up and move and will create some opening in the hips so that you can move with a little bit more ease and flow for the rest of your day. For today's practice, all you'll need is yourself and your yoga mat. If you like to use props, you're more than welcome to utilize them. Um, if you have any questions after the practice, please feel free to drop them in the comments. I'm more than happy to help and answer those questions for you. Last but not least, Make sure you speak to your physician before doing this or any other yoga practice so that we know that you're healthy and well. Let's go ahead and get started. And since we have been spending the day sitting, I'm going to have you come to standing at the top of your mat. Feet about hip distance apart. Soften the knees, draw the belly in and start to fold forward. We're going to take ragdoll pose. So release any tension from the neck and shoulders. Let the crown of the head move towards the floor. And gently sway side to side, releasing any tension from the lower back. And just take three deep breaths here, breathing into the back body. Finding some space and some length down the backs of the legs. And we'll take three more deep breaths here. The eyes fall closed, tune in. Take some time to scan the body. Notice where you're holding on to any tightness or tension. And breathe into that space. Inhale, release the hands, and you can press up onto the fingertips either at the floor or your shins, and lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Think about drawing the shoulders back and lengthening out the spine, reaching the crown of the head forward and the sit bones back. Exhale, forward fold, soft bend in those knees. The knees do not have to be straight here. It's our first forward fold of the practice, so let's be gentle, especially if you've been spending a lot of time in front of the computer. I'm gonna do that two more times. Inhale, fingertips to shins, reach the heart forward through the gateway of the arms, send the crown of the head forward, and lengthen the tailbone towards the back of the mat. Exhale, draw the belly in, fold. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll all the way up to stand. We're going to take some wide half uh, sun salutations here. Inhale, hands reach up, take a look up. Exhale, hands come to the heart. Inhale, arms reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway, draw the belly in, reach the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, soften the knees, push down into the feet and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Back to mountain pose, arms reach up, hands to heart center, hold. Inhale, arms reach up, gaze up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees as you fold, draw the belly in, torso over the thigh. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Soften the knees and root down into the feet to rise up strong, stand tall, reach the arms up overhead, stretch, gaze up. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, forward fold. Inhale, hands to shins, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, bow in. Press down into the feet, strong, standing tall. 
Reaching up one vertebrae at a time, reach the arms and stretch. Exhale, hands to heart center, mountain pose. Let's move through full sun salutations here a little bit slowly and with the feet together. Deep breath in, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold, soft bend in the knees. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold in. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step your right foot back and then your left, lower your knees. So we're in a half push up, high plank. Exhale, elbows wrap to the back, lower down to the earth all the way to the belly. Keep the hands right underneath the shoulders. Lift the chest, cobra pose. Drag the heel of the hands back, press through the tops of the feet. Exhale, third eye to the earth. Tuck the toes, we're gonna press through hands and knees. Send the hips back. Keep the knees soft as you press into your first downward facing dog. Good, we'll take five deep breaths here. Breathing in through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. If it's possible to start bringing in that ujjayi breath, that ocean-like wave sound of the breath. It starts to build heat. It allows you to clear your mind and take on a more meditative, quiet state. Look up between the hands and let's just take a walk to the top of the mat. Feet to hands, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees, roll up to stand. Mountain pose. Hands to heart. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, forward fold. Belly in, torso over thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, high plank. This time if you'd like to take high plank with the knees off the floor, go ahead and shift the shoulders slightly over the fingers, lowering all the way down to the earth, chaturanga, but belly to the floor. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose, press through the tops of the feet, lift up. Exhale. Tuck the toes, press through hands and knees, downward facing dog. We're not gonna hold this one as long. We're gonna look up between the hands and take that walk to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Push into the feet, roll up one vertebrae at a time. Inhale, hands to heart center. Holding here, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, draw the belly in, fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, high plank. Exhale, all the way down to the belly, cobra pose. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths here. In this one, go ahead and start to bicycle out the knees, bending the right knee and then the left. Right knee bends and then the left. To take your time here, move through your downward facing dog. And I want you to, every time you come to downward facing dog, to think about one thing that you can work on through your practice. So if you would like, Focus on the foundation. Think about lengthening through the index finger and thumb and rooting through the index finger and thumb. Really think about that rooting and lengthening action as you are in your downward facing dog. Or maybe you want to work on keeping the arms nice and strong. So you're working on wrapping the triceps to the back, hugging the biceps in towards the ears. Pick one thing that you want to work on. And let's slowly start to take that pedal to a walk. It's a few more than three breaths. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Slowly roll all the way up to stand. Deep breath in, arms reach up, gaze up. This time take your hands behind you. 
interlace the fingers and draw the knuckles down towards the floor. Lifting the heart up, opening up the chest. Deep breath in, exhale out. Breathe right into that heart space. In, exhale, inhale. Exhale, release the hands on your next inhale. Both arms reach up. Exhale, right arm down by your side. Left arm reaches up and over to the right. Side body stretch. Inhale, come back to center. Reach both arms up. Exhale, left arm down, right arm over to the left. Good, and when you're doing these side body stretches, I want you to make sure that you're rooting through the same foot, so this time it'll be the left foot. You're rooting through the left foot and you're lengthening up and out through the torso. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, over to the other side. One more in each direction. Left arm to the right. Come back to center. Left arm, right arm to the left. Come back to center. Interlace the fingers behind the back one more time. Lift the heart, roll the shoulders back. And hold it here for three, two. One, we're going to incorporate this chest expansion. Inhale, release the fingers, lift the arms up. Exhale, interlace the fingers, draw the knuckles down towards the earth, bend the knees, forward fold. Good. Taking the arms either at the lower back, and they can stay there, or you can reach them up and over. Keep the hands behind your back, nicely bend the knees, and reach the heart forward, half lift. Exhale, lengthen the legs, forward fold. We'll take that two more times. Inhale, bend the knees, lift the heart. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Release your hands to the earth. Bend your knees, plant your hands. Step your left foot all the way to the back of the mat, taking the knee down. We're gonna tuck the back toes. And we're going to take Anjane Asana. So we're going to work on driving the left hip flexor forward. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Start to lift the upper body, navel in. And we're going to take that chest expansion here in Anjane. So draw the knuckles down towards the earth. Drive the left hip flexor forward. And think about dragging your right heel towards the back of the mat to engage your right hamstring. Good, so breathe. We've got some stretching happening on the left. We've got some strengthening happening on the right. Good. Release the grip from behind. Reach both arms up overhead. Side body stretch to the right. So right arm reaches back behind, left arm reaches up and over. Come back to center. Reach both arms up. Place both hands on the earth, slide your right foot forward a little, and then send the hips towards the back of the mat, keeping the hips high and directly over the left knee. Half splits. Press up onto your fingertips or blocks if you have them. And lengthen the spine, reaching the heart forward for some chest opening here. So not only are we lengthening the back of the leg, we are also opening up the heart. So taking out this action here that we spend so much time doing in front of a computer or our phones. And we want to open that up. Good. And to increase the intensity of the hamstring stretch if you need a little more sensation rather than trying to lengthen and straighten out the knee, keep the knee soft and wrap the right hip to the back, flexing the right toes towards your face. So then that way you have a nice micro bend in the knee, you're protecting the knee, but you're also really getting nice and deep into the back of the leg. Good. So we'll take one more deep breath here. And then shift back. I like to slide my foot back a little and then shift forward. 
tuck the back toes and step forward to the top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step your right foot to the back of the mat, knee down, Anjana Yasana, left side. Untuck the back toes, lift the upper body, draw the belly in. We're gonna drive the right hip flexor forward and we're gonna drag the left heel back. So opening in the front thigh this time and strengthening in the left thigh. Interlace the fingers behind your back and lift your chest. Breathe. Feel the opening and the stretch in the right hip flexor. And feel that hamstring on the left side get engaged. Release the hands. Keep the left hand behind the back. Reach the right arm up, side body stretch. Up and over to the left. Come back to center, reach both arms up. Inhale, hands to the floor, scoot your foot forward just a little, and then lengthen out the left leg. Pressing the fingertips into the floor or block. Reach the heart forward. Broaden the distance of the collarbones away from each other. Flex the toes. Wrap the left hip back. Breathe into that left hamstring that you were just working. That's what I really like about the yoga practice is that you are not only stretching, but you're also simultaneously stretching. So it really gives a nice even balance to your practice. Reach the heart forward through the arms. Slide the heel back, shift the weight forward. Tuck the toes, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, press into the feet, roll all the way up to stand, mountain pose, arms reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, hands behind the back, lift the heart. Exhale, bend the knees, forward fold, taking the arms with you. Inhale, bend the knees, lift halfway, reach the heart forward, send the knuckles towards the back of the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Two more times, inhale, lift the heart, bend the knees, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Last time, bend the knees, lift the heart, reach the arms back. Good. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knee up, release the hands. Good, bend the knees and send the left foot to the back of the mat. This time we're gonna keep the back knee up, taking runner's lunge. Press into the ball of the back foot, lengthen the left hamstring. You're going to pretend like you're dragging the heel of your right foot back towards the back of the mat, again, engaging that hamstring. And we're gonna press up onto the fingertips and we're gonna reach the heart forward. So if you've got blocks, you can use blocks. Otherwise, fingertips work just fine and we're gonna lengthen. Hold it here for three, two, one. On your next inhale, you're going to work on lengthening the front leg. Extended pyramid pose. Inhale, reach the heart up like you're gonna take half lift. Exhale, long spine, fold forward. Wrap the right hip back, left hip forward. That squares the hip, but it also works on engaging the back of the right leg without locking the knee joint. Breathe here for three, two, one. We're going to do some lunging here. So take a deep breath in and when we lunge, we bring the knee directly over the ankle and we inhale, lengthen the leg back out, extended pyramid. Good, exhale, lunge, inhale, lengthen. We'll do two more. Last one. 
soft bend in the front knee, step forward with the left foot, fold. Bend your knees, plant your hands, step the right foot to the back of the mat, same thing. We're going to be wrapping the left hip back, right hip forward, pressing the ball of the foot, right foot into the floor, anchor the heel towards the back, lift the kneecap so that the hamstring stays like you've got a string attached to the ceiling, elevating towards the sky. Your left heel is dragging back, engaging your left hamstring. Press up onto the fingertips, light on the thigh, reach the heart forward. Go ahead and make yourself super long in this runner's lunge. So we're really taking the time in this particular practice to flow a little, hold a little, hold a little, hold a little. And then we're going to work on extended pyramids. So go ahead and start to lengthen the left leg, reach the heart forward, nice uh, half lift here, and then fold in. Breathe. Wrapping the, right, the left hip back, right hip forward. We want to be working on keeping the length in the spine and, and working on the length and breathing down the back of that left leg. The left knee does not have to be completely straight. If I move my hand, if this is where you are, that is okay. Just work on wrapping that hip back and engaging the hamstring, lengthening it out. Eventually, you'll find your depth over time. We're going to take those lunges. Inhale, knee over ankle. Lengthen the leg. Pyramid pose. Runner's lunge. Pyramid pose. Make sure that the knee does not go over the toes. One more. Exhale into your runner's lunge. Exhale, inhale, lengthen into your pyramid pose. Soft bend in the knee, step the right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, press into the feet, roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms reach up. Hands to heart center, mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, plant your hands, high plank. Exhale, all the way down to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest, cobra pose, keeping the thighs on the floor. Exhale, tuck the toes, press back to downward facing dog. Okay. We're back to our downward facing dog. What are you working on? Are you working on sending the sit bones to the sky so the knees soften a little, sit bones go high? Are you working on wrapping the triceps towards the back, hugging the muscles into the arm bones? Maybe you're working on lengthening and rooting into the index finger and thumb. Just that one thing you're working on in your downward facing dog. Slowly walk the feet to the top of the hands. Forward fold. Add on. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold, slowly roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms reach up, look up, exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back. Heart reaches up, soft bend in the knees, roll forward. Arms can be at the lower back or up and over the head. And keep the hands, fingers interlaced behind the back. Nice bend in the knees, almost chair pose like. Reach the arms back, reach the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Good, release the hands. Step the left foot to the back of the mat, runner's lunge. Press into the fingertips, reach the heart forward. Exhale, lengthen the front leg, pyramid pose. Mm -hmm. Inhale, lunge forward, reach the heart forward, press into the ball of the back foot, squeeze the inner thighs, rise up, crescent lunge. Good. Bring your hands to your hips. 
Make sure that the right hip is moving towards the back and the left hip is moving towards the front. You are dragging that right heel back in space. You're lengthening the back leg. You can have a soft bend in the knee to help keep the lower back long. Eventually you can work on finding that length through the back leg. Good. Deep breath in. Take the right arm up. Take the left arm up. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, lift the heart. Good, and just like we did with those chair poses, you're gonna hinge forward, draw the knuckles back, reach the heart forward. Inhale, press up. Inhale, heart forward. Wrap that right hip to the back. Come back up. Core work here. Inhale, belly draws in, hinge forward. Good, bring the hands to the earth. Step the feet together, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Reach the heart forward. Anchor the right heel back. Lengthen the left leg. Extended pyramid pose. Bend the left knee. Runner's lunge. Reach the heart forward. Root through the back foot, rise up, crescent lunge. Bring the hands to the hips. Make sure that the right hip is gently moving forward and the left hip is gently moving back. You can have that back knee can be slightly bent and the right knee is directly over the ankle. Good. Reach the left arm up, reach the right arm up. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Lift the heart. We're gonna hinge forward just like we did on the other side, reaching the heart forward, taking the arms back. Come back up with your abs. Inhale forward. X and lift. One more time, forward and release. Back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, arms reach up, gaze goes up. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind the back. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart. Exhale, soft bend in the knees, forward fold. One time, inhale, half lift with the knees bent, the heart forward, the arms back. Exhale, forward fold, release the hands. Inhale, lengthen the spine, lift halfway. Exhale, step the left foot back behind you, reaching the heart forward and anchoring the left heel back. Runner's lunge. Good, on your inhale, rise up, crescent, both arms overhead. Interlace the fingers behind the back. One time, lift the heart, hinge forward, stay. For three, two, one, release the hands to the floor. Back foot meets the front foot, forward fold. Inhale, heart forward, exhale, fold. Step the right foot to the back of the mat. Deep breath in, rise up. Cross the lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the back, lift the heart. Hinge forward, hold. Heart reaches through the chest. Lengthen and anchor through the back heel. Two. One. Release both hands to the floor. Step forward. Fold at the top of the mat. Inhale. Reach the heart forward. Exhale. Forward fold. Press into the feet. Roll up to stand. Inhale. Exhale, hands behind the back, lift the chest, reach the heart up. Soft bend in the knees, forward fold. Deep breath in, bend the knees deep, reach the heart forward, take the fingers back, the knuckles back. Exhale, forward fold. Release the hands, lengthen the spine, lift halfway, and step the left foot to the back of the mat. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. 
interlace the fingers behind your back. Inhale, reach the heart forward. Exhale, hinge forward. Hold for three, two. We're gonna move into chair pose, one. Keep the hands behind the back. Heart lifts as you drop the hips back. Good. Reach the arms up overhead. Press into the feet and bring the right, shifting the weight into the left foot, bring your right foot to your left calf. Tree pose. And hold it here. Find your balance. Find your drishti, find your focal point. Turn the right knee forward. Step the right foot all the way to the back of the mat. Spin the back heel down, opening up wide. Warrior two. We're gonna hold this warrior two. Lifting the heart, drawing the belly in, rooting the tailbone down. Feet are heel to arch stance. Take some warrior two lunges here. Inhale, reach both arms up. Exhale, warrior two lunge. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, warrior two lunge. Last one, inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, warrior two lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Lift the heart, warrior two, humble. Fold to the left, fold the left shoulder to the inside of the left foot. And hold. Three, two, one. Push down into the feet. Squeeze the inner thighs. Engage the abs. Pull, reach, come up. Reach the arms out wide. Pinwheel the hands to the floor. Forward fold. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. Lift halfway. Exhale. Fold. Yes, you're going to send your left foot back behind you. Reach the heart forward, rise up, crescent lunge, left foot forward. Interlace the fingers behind the back, lift the heart, reach the heart forward and hold. Three, deep in the lunge, stay two, one, back foot meets the front foot, chair pose, lift the heart, weight in the heels. Release the fingers, reach the arms up. Shift the weight into your right foot this time and pick up your left, placing the left foot at your right calf or inner thigh. Tree pose. Stay here for a few breaths, finding our drishti, finding our focal point. Maybe even catching the breath a little. Being still. But remembering to stay open. Right, shoulders back. Solid and strong in the standing leg. Good. Turn the left knee straight ahead and set the left foot to the back of the mat. Crescent lunge. Open up, spin the back heel down. Warrior two. Root the tailbone down. Squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Make sure that your right knee is moving in the direction of the middle to baby toes. So that's a slight external rotation of the outer thigh. Breathe here, focus, tension over the right middle finger. Take those lunges. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lunge, warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. Exhale, sweep the hands behind the back, lift the heart, humble warrior. Warrior two variation. Wrap the right hip towards the back, it's gonna wanna pop out. Make sure you're rooting into the outer edge of your left foot and you're working those inner thighs towards each other. Good. Ground into the earth. Engage the abs, bring yourself back up, warrior two. 
Pinwheel the hands to the floor. This time, step your right foot back, high plank. Exhale, our, inhale, our last vinyasa all the way to the belly. Inhale, lift the chest. Cobra pose. Exhale, lower the third eye to the earth. Take the hands back behind your back. Interlace the fingers. Press the tops of the feet, shoelace side down, into the earth firmly. Engage your thighs. Draw the knuckles down towards the heel as you take a deep breath and lift the heart up. Inhale and exhale, hold. Keep the back of the neck long. Make sure you keep the breath steady. Slowly lower all the way back down to the floor. Good. Bring the hands under the shoulders, tuck the toes, push up onto hands and knees. Good. Tabletop. Inhale, reach the right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, slide the right arm under the left for a simple twist. You can reach the left arm out in front of you if you'd like, placing the uh, right ear on the floor. Good. Breathe into the twist. Breathe into the shoulder. Slide your left hand back. Press back up to tabletop. Reach the right arm up and come back to center. Left arm reaches up. Left hand slides under. Reach the right arm out in front. Breathe here, nice and steady. Breathe into the twist. And breathe into the space between the shoulders. Slide the right hand back, press up, reach the left fingers back up to the sky as you twist. And bring the left hand down, sink the hips back towards the heels, reach the arms out in front of you, extended child's pose. Forehead down to the earth. Three deep breaths here. Allowing the mind and body to settle. Feeling the effects of the opening practice the expansion of the heart. Slowly press yourself up to a seated position. We're going to dig a little deeper into those hamstrings. So we'll start with Janu Shushasana A. Right leg is extended out in front of you. Left sole of your foot is at the right inner thigh, taking uh, what looks like almost a seated tree pose. So up nice and tall. Evenly root through both sit bones, reach both arms up overhead, and exhale, forward fold. If you have a strap, you're more than welcome to use it. Just wrap it around your foot. Otherwise, you can hold on to the shin, the ankle, or the foot. Doesn't matter where, just as long as you get a nice lengthening stretch down the back of the leg. And we're gonna fold in and breathe here for five breaths. Allowing the hamstrings to open and lengthen. Slowly come all the way back up. And we'll switch legs. Right foot, left inner thigh. Flex the toes. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Let the forehead melt down towards the thigh. Breathe into the back of the leg. And also feel the heart rate start to slow. Extend both legs out in front of you. Reach 
pull horizontal overhead. Inhale. Exhale. Hold. Find your depth. And stop there. Kind of to yank or pull. Remember, yoga is a journey. It's a practice. So allow yourself to slowly reach your destination. There's no rush to get anywhere. Slowly come all the way up. We're going to turn out to the side here. So your left leg is going to go out wide and your right foot is going to be in that tree pose shape again. Instead of turning towards the knee, we're going to side stretch. Inhale, reach the arms out wide. Exhale, reach up and over. Keep the shoulder back so that the shoulder's not forward. You want to keep the heart open. Root heavy through your right sit bone and lengthen through the right side of the body. The goal here is not to be able to touch the foot, but rather to lengthen and stretch the side of the waist and the side body, which also tends to get tight with a lot of sitting, um, having to carry kids, uh, laundry baskets. <laughs> so we're going to lengthen and stretch the side body too. We did some of that in the practice. So a little bit upon that here. Come back to center and we will switch sides. So bring the left foot in and take the right leg out. Flex the toes. Reach the arms wide. Shoulders back. And up and over we go. Rooting heavy through the left sit bone and reaching up and out through the left fingers. Let the breath be steady. Again, this is all about lengthening through the sides of the waist. Come back to center. Promised a little bit of hip opening. So we are going to get there. We're going to go ahead and start to lay down onto the back. And one of my favorite stretches is figure four. We'll cross the right ankle over the left. Oops, that was my left over my right. I'm used to doing everything mirrored, so I apologize. So your right ankle is over your left knee, and you can stay right here. If this is enough sensation for you, you may be able to feel a stretch in the outer thigh and hip right here. If you need a little bit more, you can bring the knees in closer to the chest. If you want a little bit more, you reach through the glute pole and either grab the hamstring or the shin. Work on drawing the right knee away from you as you draw the left knee in. Flex the right toes to protect the right knee. Five deep breaths here. Work on keeping the tailbone and the sit bones, uh, or your lower back, sorry, not your sit bones, your lower back on the floor. So we're not yanking up like this. I want you to really lengthen the lower back and travel onto the floor. Release. Place the left foot on the floor. Right foot on the floor, now the left ankle comes over the right knee, flex the toes, and again, choose your, choose your spot. Here, here, or here. The left knee moves away, the left toes are flexed, and the right knee comes close. Lower back is rooting onto the floor. Release. 
both feet on the floor first and then go ahead and bring both knees into the chest. Gently rock side to side. Taking the time to release any tension from the lower back. The upper body is starting to prepare for Shavasana. The eyes start to fall closed. Go ahead and place both feet flat on the floor and let the lower back settle down. Arms open up, palms face up. Feet out towards the end of the mat, lengthening those legs. If you want to take another version of Shavasana that's a little bit more supportive for the lower back, you can always bend the knees and bring the knees together or bring the soles of the feet together if you want a little bit more hip opening for your Shavasana or traditional Shavasana. Release the weight of the body into the earth, let go of any tension or stress that's left from the practice, release it now, and take the next few moments to be present in this very moment. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and that you feel a little bit more open and have a little bit more flexibility and mobility as you move throughout the rest of your day.